हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मैट्रिक्स एनालिसिस विद एप्लीकेशंस इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट व्हाट लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशंस आर एंड व्हाट आर द फंडामेंटल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी दैट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय रैंक एनालिटी ऑफ अ लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट लेट v एंड w बी वेक्टर स्पेसेस ओवर द फील्ड f एंड लेट t फ्रॉम v टू w बी लीनियर ओके then then uh, basically what we are having we are having a linear transformation t from v to w v is a vector space w is a vector space over the field f okay now the null space of t of this linear transformation t are all those elements in v such that t of v equal to 0 of w okay all those elements here okay which map to 0 of w it may be one or it may be a set okay this set is called null space of t and the dimension and and uh, the range of t is defined as all those uh, all those w in w such that uh, tv is equals to w for v equals to uh, v i mean the image of this in w the image of this in w will be the range of t okay now if v is a finite dimensional vector space then rank of t is a dimension of range of t denoted by small r t and the nullity of t is a dimension of null space of t denoted by nt we later on show that this nt and rt are the subspaces of the vector spaces v and w respectively so they have a dimension so dimension of the null space of t will be is called nullity and the dimension of uh, range of t is called rank of t okay say we have this example and we have to find for this example uh, null space of t and rt uh, and r of t so what is the linear transformation here So the linear transform here is r three to r two, and it is given by t of x one, x two, x three as x one minus x two and two x three. Now first we have to find null space of t. By the definition, it is all these are all those v in v such that t of v equal to zero. now here it is all those uh, x1 x2 x3 in r3 x2 x3 in r3 such that t of x1 x2 x3 is 0 0 because this is image is in r2 so these are all those x1 x2 in r3 such that now t of x1 x2 x3 is nothing but x1 minus x2 comma 2x3 and it is 0 comma 0 so this is all those x1 x2 x3 in r3 such that x1 equal to x2 and 2x3 equal to 0 that means x3 equal to 0 so this is simply all those x1 x1 because x1 and x2 are equal and x3 is 0 such that x1 belongs to r so this is all x1 times 1 1 0 1, such that x1 belongs to r so this is basically the null space of t or we can say that it is equals to span of 1 1 0 0 okay now to find range of t range of t are all those uh, y1 y2 in r2 such that t of uh, x1 x2 x3 okay is y1 y2 for all x1 x2 x3 in you see for all x1 x2 in it is x2 okay so we have to uh, we have to see find out r of t of all y1 y2 in this r2 such that t of x1 x2 x3 is equals to y, uh, y1 y2 now you can simply observe here that uh, that uh, t of uh, if you take t of y1 comma 0 comma y2 by 2 
so it is equal to y1 comma y2 no, you, you can simply observe here it is y1 minus 0 is y1 and y2 by 2 into 2 is simply y2 so that means that means if you take that means for any y1 y2 here in w which is r2 there exists a uh, uh, there exists a pre image here in r3 that that means this function this map is on 2 this is an on 2 map okay and this since this is an on 2 map so uh, so the uh, so the range of t is nothing but entire r2 okay because any vector in r2 because if you have any vector y1 y2 in r2 there exists y1 comma 0 comma y2 by 2 in uh, r3 such that t of this equal to this so if you take any y1 y2 here so there exists a pre image here in uh, r3 so that means range of t is the entire r2 okay now there are some uh, basic uh, properties the first property is range of t is a subspace of w okay now what we are considering here basically t is a map linear map from v to w over the field f the first is range of t which is defined as all those uh, w in w such that uh, t of v equal to w for v belongs to v uh, for all i mean you vary v you vary v in v and the collection of all those w in w will be a range of and we have to show that this is nothing but a subspace of w so how can we show that you take let uh, w1 and w2 in r2 and for subspace we have to show that uh, alpha times uh, w1 plus w2 is also in r2 and you take alpha in field okay so if these are in r2 this means there exists some v1 v2 in uh, v such that t of v1 is uh, w1 and t of v2 is w2 okay now if you take uh, if you take t of uh, alpha v1 plus v2 so since a linear map so it is t of alpha v1 plus alpha v2 t of v2 which is alpha w1 plus w2 by this expression so so what we have we have shown that there exists element uh, alpha v1 plus v2 whose image is alpha w1 plus w2 that this implies alpha w1 plus w2 belongs to w because this this element is in v and we have shown that there exists element in v whose image is whose image is alpha w1 plus w2 that means this is in rt by the definition of rt so this means this is an rt yes so this implies rt is a subspace of w okay the next is nt is a subspace of w the nullity how we can show this now nullity of t are all those uh, v in v such that uh, tv equal to 0 so again you take some v1 v2 in lt and alpha belongs to field and we have to show that alpha v1 plus v2 also belongs to nt for nt to be a subspace now this implies t of v1 is equal to t of v2 equal to 0 so now take uh, t of alpha v1 plus v2 since t is a linear map so it is alpha times t v1 plus t v2 so it is uh, alpha dot 0 plus 0 which is equal to 0 so this implies alpha v1 plus v2 is belongs to nullity of t because this element is in v and we have shown that t of this element equal to 0 and t of all those v in uh, v whose image is 0 are in null space of t or nullity of uh, i mean null space of t so we have shown that uh, null space is a subspace of uh, v so basically what we have shown that if you are having two subspaces v and w and t is a linear map from any linear map from uh, v to w then nullity of if this is a nullity of t then uh, this is not only a subset of this v this is a subspace of this v 
and the image of this uh, v if it is say here which is which we are denoting by r t which has subs. So, it is not only a subset of w it is a subspace of w. The next is if t is 1 to 1 t is 1 to 1 if and only if null space is a 0 subspace or a singleton set 0 of v. So, the proof is again simple let us discuss. Now, wh now when we can say that t is 1 to 1 t is 1 to 1 means t of v 1 equal to t of v 2 should implies v 1 equal to v 2 for all v 1 v 2 in v. Okay. Now, let us uh, let us first take uh, let t be 1 to 1 and we have to show that null space of t is a singleton 0 of v. Okay. Now, t is 1 to 1 let let v belongs to nullity of t. So, if we have if we have shown that v is nothing but 0 of v then uh, we have done. Okay. Now, if this is in this belongs to null space that means t of v equal to 0. Now, this implies t of v equal to t of 0 because we know that t of 0 uh, 0 maps with uh, 0 only. Now, since t is 1 to 1 and by this definition we can simply say that v equal to 0. So, that this implies nullity of t is nothing but singleton 0 of v. Now, the converse let uh, null space of t is a singleton 0. And we have to show that t is 1 to 1. So, let uh, t of v 1 equal to t of v 2 and we have to show that uh, v 1 equal to v 2 for t to be 1 to 1. So, this implies t of v 1 uh, minus t of v 2 will be 0. You can add the uh, additive inverse of t of v 2 both the sides. Now, this is equal to we know that this is equal to t of v 1 minus v 2 equal to 0 this implies t of v 1 minus v 2 equal to t of 0. Okay, anyway, this is not required. Now, t of v 1 minus v 2 equal to 0. So, this implies v 1 minus v 2 is in the null space of uh, t and null space of t is a singleton 0 of v. So, this implies v 1 equal to v 2. Okay. So, uh, so, we have shown that uh, t is 1 to 1 if and only if null space of t is a singleton 0 of v. The next uh, result is if the span of uh, v 1, v 2 up to v n equal to v, then the range of t is nothing but uh, span of t of v 1, t of v 2 up to t of v n. Again, it is easy to show. You see here span of v 1, v 2 up to v n is equal to v. And we have to show that the R of t is nothing but t of v 1 and t of v n span of this. Okay. Now, t of v i is belongs to R to R t for all i okay. because, because t of v i is simply the image of v i. So, by the definition of R t the t of v i will belongs to R t. Okay. And since uh, R t is a subspace of W, so we can easily say that the span of T of V i, span of T of V 1 and T of V n will be definitely contained in R t, because, because R t is a subspace of W. So, to show that this is equal to this, we have just to show that R t is a subset of span of T of V 1 up to T of V n. Now, to show that this is a subset of this take an arbitrary element in R t and try to show that it is also in the span of this set. So, let uh, some w belongs to R t. If w belongs to R t this implies there exists some v belongs to v such that uh, t of v is w. Okay. Now, since this v is in v and v is the capital V is equal to span of v 1, v 2 up to v n that means, this v can be expressed as linear combination of element of uh, this set. So, uh, since uh, v belongs to v this implies there exist alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha n belongs to field such that v will be equal to alpha 1, v 1 plus alpha 2, v 2 and so on up to alpha n, v n. 
Now, T of V will be equal to since T is linear. So, it is alpha 1 T of V 1 and so on alpha n T of V n. That means, belongs to span of T of V 1 and so on up to T of V n and T of V is what? T of V is W. Okay. So, we have shown that this W belongs to span of this that means, uh, that means R T is a subset of a span of this. So, from these two results we can say that R T is equal to a span of T of V 1, T of V 2 up to T of V. Now, now, the next result is if V is a finite dimensional vector space then R of T that is the rank of T is always less than equal to dimension of V. So, it is easy to show you see in the uh, fr from this if, if these vectors are uh, uh, linearly independent. So, if these vectors are linearly independent so and a span of equal to V that means V is n dimensional. Okay. And from this result we know that R t is equal to span of this, but, uh, but span of but t of V i t of V i is may not be linearly independent. Okay. So, basically basically the, the dimension of this R t will be less than equal to dimension of this that is dimension of V. Okay. The largest the largest uh, uh, li set is itself. If, if this is the the whole set is li then this will be the dim, then this will be the basis of v okay but the image of ti is image of ti is t of v is may not be linearly independent there may ex, there may be possible that some of the t, t of v is are linearly dependent so the dimension of this will be less than equal to dimension of v if uh, you have a counter example say say you are taking a span of 1 0 and 0 1 as r 2 it is v 1 it is v 2. Okay. Now, you define you can define the linear map as this t of x 1 x 2 as say x 1 plus x 2 and say x 1 plus x 2 again. Now, t of 1 0 is simply 1 1 and again t of 0 1 is again 1 1. So, a span of uh, t of 1 0 and t of 0 1 is of course, equal to r t by the definition by the uh, result, but that is simply span of 1 comma 1 because both the elements are same. So, dimension of this is less than equal to dimension of this it cannot be more than this. Now, the next result is the rank nullity theorem it states that if v and w are two uh, vector spaces of field f and let t from v to w be linear if v is finite dimensional then uh, nullity of t plus rank of t is always equal to dimension of v so the result is very easy to show let us see the proof we have to show that nullity of t plus rank of t is equal to dimension of v here t is from v to w Okay, this we have to show. Now, let us consider let us consider that uh, v 1 v 2 up to v n be an be an ordered basis of ordered basis of n t null, uh, null space of t let us suppose. Now, since it is a say is a subspace of uh, subspace of uh, v subspace of v. So, we can always extend this basis to form the basis of v it is a subspace of v and t is a subspace of v. So, we can always extend this subspace to form the basis of v. So, let us suppose the dimension of v is say p okay. dimension of v is say p. So, extend the basis of n t to form basis of v. So, let us suppose this is a basis of v. Where, where of course, p is greater than equal to uh, n. Now, uh, now we have to show that uh, now let us consider a set 
say we consider a set S which is nothing but uh, T of uh, V n plus 1, T of V n plus 2 and so on up to T of V p. Now, if we if we anyhow show that uh, this uh, this is nothing but uh, uh, range of t, I mean this is nothing but a basis of range of t, then the dimension of this then then we have shown because because here uh, nullity of t is n, okay, and say it is k, and it is p, then k will be p minus n, and if anyhow we have shown that this is this at s is a basis of uh, rt whose dimension is p minus n that means we have shown so we have just to show now that this s is nothing but a basis of rt so the basis of rt we have to, uh, show the two properties number 1 it is linearly independent and number 2 span of this generates entire rt so first let us see the span of this the span of this is t of uh, vn plus 1 t of vn plus 2 and T of V n V p. We know that uh, if uh, if uh, V equal to span of V 1 V 2 up to V n then R t is equals to span of T V 1 up to T V n. Okay. So, now here a span of uh, V 1 V 2 up to V p V p is equals to V because it is a basis of uh, because this is a basis of uh, V. So, the span of T V 1 T V 2 up to T V n, T V n plus 1 and so on T V p is equal to V. Now, since V 1, V 2, V n are in uh, are in R n t, so T of V i up to n is 0. So, these are these all are 0. So, that means it is equal to T of V n plus 1 t of v n plus 2 and so on t of v p and that is equals to uh, sorry it is r t and that is equal to r t. So, the first property we have shown that the span of this is nothing but span of r t I mean is, is equal to r t that is span of this generates entire r t. Now, the second thing we have to show that uh, the this set is linearly independent. So, so take some linear combination of this uh, elements. put it equal to 0 and we have to show that all alpha is from n plus 1 to p are 0. So, this implies t of alpha n plus 1 v n plus 1 and so on up to alpha p v p equal to 0 because, because t is linear. So, this implies alpha n plus 1 v n plus 1 and so on up to alpha p v p belongs to null space of t. And since it belongs to null space of T and the basis of null space of T is V1, V2 up to Vn. So, this element can be written as linear combination of element of uh, basis of nt. So, this implies alpha n plus 1 Vn plus 1 up to alpha n alpha p v p will be beta 1 V1 and so on up to beta n V n. So, this implies beta 1 v 1 and so on up to beta n v n minus alpha n plus 1 v n plus 1 and so on minus alpha p v p will be equal to 0. But this this set v 1 v 2 up to v p is a basis of v. So, it will be linearly independent. So, this implies beta i is 0 from i from 1 to n and alpha j's are 0 for j from n plus 1 to p. So, we have shown that uh, alpha j's from L j varying from n plus 1 to p are 0 this means this set is linearly independent. So, we have shown that this is linearly independent and the span of this is equal to r t that, that means that means this uh, is a basis of r, r t and hence we have shown the result. Now, let us come to few problems based on this. State true or false with proper reasoning, proper reason. The first one is no linear transformation from R5 to R2 R3 can be 1 to 1. Now, let us let us see whether it is true or false. So, for all these things we will apply rank nullity theorem. By the rank nullity theorem you see 
uh, here T is from R 3 to R 2 ok. It is from R 3 to R 2 oh sorry yes R 5 to R 3 it is from R 5 to R 3 ok. Let us write again T is from R 5 to R 3. So, it is V and it is W. So, what is the dimension of V? Dimension of V is clearly 5. But the rank nullity, nullity of T plus rank of T will be equal to dimension of V which is equal to 5. If, if this T is 1 to 1, we, we know that T is 1 to 1 if and only if nullity is 0. Nullity is 0 or null space contain the singleton set 0 singleton 0. So, if if it is 1 to 1, if t is 1 to 1, then n t will be 0. So, this implies from here r t will be 5, which is not possible. Since the maximum dimension of r t, maximum value of r t is 3, w is a see r t, see r t is a sub, uh, subset subspace of w. So, its dimension cannot exceed the dimension of w, it is a subspace of w. So, r t is 5 here which is not possible because the maximum value of r t is 3. So, no we cannot have any linear transformation from r 5 to r 3 which is 1 to 1. So, the statement is false yeah statement is true no linear transformation yeah. So, the first statement is true. Now, second one if t is from r 2 to r 2 is linear and 1 to 1 then it is on 2 you see here t is r 2 to r 2 it is v it is w. So, what is dimension of v is 2 what is dimension of w is 2 if r t is if uh, this t is on 2 on 2 means range of t will be entire w then it is on 2 or we can say that rank of t will be 2 rank of t will be 2 because rank of uh, w dimension of uh, w is 2 ok. Now, it is given to us that it is 1 to 1 if it is 1 to 1 that means nullity of t is 0 by the rank nullity nullity plus rank of t will be dimension of v which is 2 and 0 plus uh, rank of t is equal to 2 this implies r t equal to 2 that means that means it is on 2. So, yes it is true in the next one if t is from r 3 to r 3 and it is linear and on 2 then rank of t is equal to dimension of v here dimension of v is 3 ok. So, now it is linear and on 2 now t is from r 3 to r 3 it is v it is w dimension of v here is 3 t is linear and on 2 on 2 means r of t is equal to dimension of w which is 3. So, nullity of t a plus rank rank of t will be equal to uh, will be equal to uh, dimension of uh, v which is 3. So, what is given to us? We have, we have it is given to us it is on 2. Now, here, uh, here it is 1 to 1. So, it is 0 plus rank of t equal to dimension of v. So, it is clear. So, in fact, in fact if u and v are, are of same dimensional vector space here also in the second example also v and w are same dimensional vector space and t is linear. If it is linear and 1 1 it implies on 2 if t is linear and on 2 it implies 1 to 1 if it is same dimensional vector space. The next is if t is from v to w is linear and the finite dimensional then rank of t is always less than equals to minimum of dimension of v and dimension of w you see here t is a linear transformation from v to w ok. Now, rank of uh, now, R t is definitely less than equals to dimension of w because R t is a R t is a subspace of w. If R t is a subspace of w, so its uh, its uh, value will always be less than equal to dimension of w. 
if it is on to then it equality holds ok and by the rank nullity the nullity of t plus rank of t equal to dimension of v. So, rank of t will be equal to dimension of v minus nullity and nullity of t is greater than or equal to 0 it is 0 if t is 1 to 1. So, minus nullity of t will be less than or equal to 0 so that means dimension of v minus nullity of t will be less than or equal to dimension of v. So, this implies r t is also less than or equal to dimension of v. So, since it is less than or equal to dimension of v and also less than or equal to dimension of w. So, this implies r t will be less than or equal to minimum of dimension of v and dimension of w. Okay. The last one is if t from r 3 to r 5 be a linear map then r t can be a two dimensional subspace of r 5. So, let us see now here t is here t is from r 3 to r 5. So, it is v it is w. So, dimension of v is 3 now nullity of t plus r t is equal to dimension of v which is 3 ok. So, we have to see that there exist uh, r t of 2 dimensional. So, yes there exist if it is 2 and nullity is 1 for some t then 1 plus 2 is 3 yes there exist, but there there cannot exist r t uh, I mean uh, I mean r t of uh, more than 3 dimensional vector more than 3 dimensional subspace of r 5 because some must be 3. The minimum value of n t is the minimum value of n t is 0. So, definitely r t will be r t is equal to 3 minus n t and n t will be greater than equal to 0 that means uh, r t will be less than equal to 3 it cannot be more than 3. So, for this problem it is true. So, we have seen that uh, what uh, rank, rank and nullity of a linear transformation is and what are the few properties based on this ok. So, thank you.